All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Chris's Sports Corner. Uh, real quick, man, hope everybody's having a great, 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 great Thursday, man. We road tripping um, on our way to, to the to the FLA. Um, Got to go see the Michigan. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, so I want to talk to you guys today about the news that just came down. The suspensions from the Los Angeles Lakers Toronto Raptors fight. Now, nobody that was fighting got suspended. All right, <laughs> let's throw that out there. Nobody that was fighting got suspended. It was Tate Horton Tucker, Bembry, and Steady Freddie who couldn't even play <laughs> that got suspended. So my um, so apparently they're suspending them for coming off the bench. But let's be honest, had those guys not stepped in and tried to de-escalate the situation, you could have had a bigger problem. No, None of those guys that got suspended did anything wrong. Nothing. They were just trying to stop it from escalating. Now, <laughs> people always argue and say, I'm sorry, I got to hold, I'm, I'm road tripping, so I got to hold the phone. And so forgive me for the shaking and moving and gyrating. Um, that's, a, that's an old Southern word right there, gyrating. Um, but let me say this. A lot of people say the NBA has got soft. It's not what it used to be. And everything get blown out of proportion. And in this case, I got to agree with them, man. I got to agree with them. This is stupid. And this makes no sense. Suspending these guys. All they, I, I said if you want to find them, then find them. Don't come off the court. They didn't come out and escalate nothing. None of those guys escalated nothing. But they simply came out there to break it up. To make sure everybody, make sure the people that actually was involved got back to their benches, everything was fine. This is crazy, man. This is absolutely crazy. Now, again, we can talk about that that situation. Like I said, I, I honestly do not feel as though um, um, OG was was trying to to body slam. He wasn't trying to come off the top rope. He didn't hit him with a Hulk Hogan leg drop. He didn't want to. He didn't try to. He didn't intentionally try to give him a, a what they call that uh, move in wrestling, a uh, uh, cross body, nothing like that. On um, the sidewalk slam. See, I'm, my wrestling fans, y'all gonna get that one. The sidewalk slam. Um, but he didn't intentionally. I, I think, like I said in the past video, I think he once he realized, oh snap. I think he thought he had his arm, but. Dennis Schroeder's not that big of a guy. So he grabbed him and realized, oh, that's his whole body. And he put, tried to put him down. But from the optic, it looked bad. But for the NBA to spend these guys for trying to de-escalate a situation, mm, mm, that's a little much, man. And I get it. See, and this is the thing, too, when it comes to the rules. The rules say this, 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 but sometimes things got to be left up for interpretation. Now, that's a fine line because you start leaving things up for interpretation, then it's on the person that made the decision, and then you're going to say, then it can, it can that, that, that spectrum spread wide. But in this case, I think had they not done anything, nobody would have known it. Nobody would have cared. Because honestly, when I seen an outlet, they're going to suspend OG and, 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 and Schroeder or Harold or Trent. No, they spend those guys. They spend Brembry. They just they spend um, Taylor Horton Tucker and, and Steady Freddie. <laughs> hey, that's like a joke though. How you get suspended on your on the game you didn't play? <laughs> oh man, it, to me, honestly though, I really feel as though I really feel as though the NBA made a mistake on this one. To me personally, yeah, I, yeah, come on, man. Come on, man. And for the for the for the Raptors, you know, it's it's even more um, damaging because they are already limited with players. You know, Steady Freddie being out um, with him, with you know, dealing with his injury, you know, Kyle Lowry's injury um, and stuff like that. And so now you taking Bembry, now you taking Steady Freddie another game, and it started. It, 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 you know, I seen something um, on Facebook today. And the thing, oh, sorry, the thing said, if <laughs> if you take another NBA team and put them and make them play in Toronto in one of Toronto's bad 
Toronto bad, well, bad cities. Y'all go check it out. It's, it's on the uh, Raptors group on, on Facebook. And they were talking about, they were saying, I bet you couldn't play that well either. So pretty much what they was alluding to is, you know, the disadvantage that the Raptors is at. And meaning that, you know, they're not playing at home. They're playing. At, now, now, let me say this. Tampa is not a bad, a bad city. All right. Actually, I, I, I like Tampa. You know, that's what my, you know, my wife is talking about moving to Florida or uh, moving to the South. So Tampa is one of the few places that I will consider in Florida. A lot of them, but Tampa is one of them. Um, I actually got a, a homeboy to stay down there. But um, Tampa is not a bad city, but it's not home. And I all and I said this before, even before the season start, them not being at home. And now, especially when you look at like the Lakers are going to get fans back to the to tonight, I think. Um, other teams are going to get, you know, start having fans back. Well, the Raptors may have fans back, but are they true Raptors fans? You know, like like you know, you know what I'm saying. So, is it a disadvantage? I do think it's a disadvantage. You know, when you're not at home. You know, it's, it's a little different. You have a long game, something goes wrong, or you have a good game. You can go home to your family, laugh, celebrate, chill in your own bed, have a good night's sleep if you feel good. But when you going to a place you're unfamiliar with, um, you know, the simple things. I said this before. It's the simple things. You you go to use the bathroom, and you're so used to your locker room, so you know where the bathroom at, and you, you make you like, okay, I'm lost, you know. You're used to seeing certain things in the Raptors. You, you're used to seeing certain things in the locker room. You kind of know with your eyes closed where your locker at. All that stuff may seem like little stuff, but it matters. It's a reminder that you're not in your comfort zone. You're not at home. So could that be playing a part um, in the Raptors' struggle? But I tell you one thing, the NBA suspending more players don't help. You know, it, <laughs> some things you got to laugh at, man. <laughs> Nobody that threw a punch or pushed the shove got suspended. Only the guys that came out to try to break up the fight got suspended because they came off the bench. Let me say this. If players do not intervene in some of those fights, no referee ain't stopping them. You need you need some of those players to come out there and be like, man, hey, 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 let's chill, let's chill, chill out. Let's break it up. Right? Um, so that's the ladies, man. Bembry, Steady Freddy, um, Taylor Horton Tucker. All those guys suspended for one game. It's a one-game suspension for a brawl that none of them was even a part of. Yeah. Go NBA. <laughs> oh, man. This thing is getting crazy these days. Well, I'm on the road, guys. I'm thinking about doing a live stream later. Um, I'm not going to say I'm going to do it because I don't want to hold this, hold this phone for that long. So I might get one of those little things up here and then I can live and drive. So... With that being said, guys, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check me out on Instagram. Make sure you guys continue to support. Continue to hit that like button, that subscribe button. Until next time, man, you guys be good.